What makes this trip and this go around a little bit different for you guys running up against North Dakota State? Yeah, I think last time we kind of had that COVID experience, you know, it was a little bit of a shorter trip. Um, but yeah, that, that taste of defeat and then now getting a rivalry game in the championship, that's just a huge turnaround. And, um, we're just really excited for the opportunity to, to play one of our biggest rivals at, at this type of stage. And I've seen them all, probably the past three weeks now, and more than a marker. It's kind of been the motto, I think, of so many people right. that are kind of making this trip down. You guys have been able to beat North Dakota State in the past handful of years, and more specifically and impressively in the Fargo Dome. But when it's come to playoff time, you've came off short. What would it mean for you guys to beat North Dakota State and do it on the biggest stage of Boise National Championship? Yeah, that'd be huge. Uh, yeah, like you said, we've we've gotten the job done the past couple times. I haven't gotten the opportunity yet to play them in uh, a playoff game, so that'll be big coming up here. But uh, yeah, like you said, everyone's saying more than a marker, that type of thing. So, I mean, this is their home. They've been here so many times, so it would just be a huge, huge accomplishment to to play them and, and beat them on their Fargo South home field. You know. They've been here a lot, so that'll just be a, a big testament to the type of team we got this year. And I'm, I'm sure that you don't want to talk about your, your injury and what we had went through this season, but early on that North Dakota game, you got hurt, ended up missing a month of the season. Yeah. You're still the second leading attack on this team. This team has so much trust and faith in you. How, how were you able to come back from that injury and look like the player before the injury and be so efficient and effective, especially in the biggest games this season? Yeah, first of all, I mean, it was just always the next man up role. I mean, everybody hopped in and filled their role, um, what they needed to do uh, when I went down. And that's just a huge testament to them. And then another big thanks to the athletic training staff to just get me back comfortable playing, moving around, and and then being able to get back in the game and, and make an impact in the game as well. So, I mean, I was kind of down myself at first uh, when, when the injury first happened. Uh, wasn't moving around the best, you know, probably five, six weeks ago. But now with that extended time off and uh, extra rest time, it's been huge. And, and now I'm feeling like myself and, and able to make an impact in the game a little bit more. Being able to be back in Frisco again, playing for a national championship, what are you most looking forward to this weekend and the entire experience, especially this time knowing that Toyota Stadium is going to be packed it's going to be sold out. You're going to see a lot of green and gold, but you're going to see a lot of your blue, blue and gold as well. Yeah, I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is, is just bringing a championship home to Brookings. Uh, the, the community deserves it. I mean, they've been so great to us this whole year, and I'll just be the, the cherry on top of this season. So I think that's what I'm most looking forward to. Might kind of be, you know, essentially right out what his hands are. What would that championship be to both, both you and the program as a whole? It's just that next step. I mean, we've been right at the doorstep, you know, last time in semifinals, a ton of semifinals appearances in the past couple of years, but it's just that next step for our program, and I think we need to take that. So that's what I think it would mean to the program, is just that next step in, in what we want to do. Well, I asked the same one I've asked a couple of the, the junkie twins. I don't know if you've met them. Um, what can you take from the, the performance and the victory at the Fargo Dome early in the year against them? I mean, is there something specifically you can pinpoint in it? One of the twins was just like, well, I'm not going to give any of that away. And I'm not asking for X and O's, but what can you take away from that victory with that couple line? I think the hard? biggest thing to take away from that victory is, is our team's got guts. And, you know, getting hit in the mouth right away, going down 21-7, uh, that's a tough thing to come back from, especially in the Fargo Dome, that type of environment. So I think that's just the biggest thing is we got some – some gutsy players on the team and, and and just continue to hang our hat on that. So what can you say about so after they get down there, their first and goal, and I think they had a penalty to back them up a little bit. Yeah. They bring in their other quarterback, they throw a pass, you guys pick that pass off. And that was really the key that switched it on in a sense for the defense because mm -hmm. they had run down the field a few times, you know, like you said 21-7. You make a big defensive stop there at the goal line. How much confidence did they get the team the rest of the way of that game? Yeah, I mean turnovers are king and when you can can force a turnover like that and, and get the momentum back on your side, that's that's really big. So, I mean, that's probably one of the main goals for both teams, I'd say, is just controlling that battle and 
and keeping that momentum. NDSU has been a team predominantly where they make you pay for the states. And this season, it seems like SDSU is involved into that same type of team where if you make a mistake, you guys are going to capitalize on it. You guys did that obviously against Holy Cross, and then you just simply defensively, you guys did not give Montana State any room to do anything in that game. Yeah. So how have you guys evolved into that type of team that you just making teams pay for their mistakes? I think that's a big credit. I mean, both to the defense and offense is just playing complementary football. And you know, one one team does uh, one side of the ball does something, the other team picks them up, and that's what great teams do. And I think we've done a really good job of that this year, and just continuing to do that. Um, pick up our offense; our offense picks us up if we make a mistake, you know. So just playing that complementary football. Last, last question. Okay, then. Yeah, last question. Three weeks to prepare for this team, a team we've faced a number of times before. How different is that than just getting the one week and, and playing your next game? Yeah, it's definitely different because you're not just putting everything in right away. You know, it's a slower progression throughout the week. Um, it's a little different, but I think we handled it well this week and ready to see how it plays out. So. Awesome. Adam, thank you. Appreciate your yeah, time, man.